Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquis of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. We meet behind the trade fair, behind Zenith College, Sundays in the mornings and then Wednesdays in the evenings. But this morning, I'd, I'd like to capture my thoughts, um, blind man's wisdom. Now, in John chapter 9, uh, you find a very interesting story over there. And that was the man who Jesus healed. And, and when Jesus healed him for his blindness, and uh, he, he, he could see. And he was very, very happy, and he was very excited. But there were people who were not, who were not excited by um, the fact that Jesus was getting popular or by the fact that Jesus' name was, was on the ascendancy. And one way or the other, Jesus was just increasing in terms of public stature and public respect and public applause and public celebration. Now, and, and that's a key thing. You know, listen, not everybody is going to be pleased with your success. Not, not everybody is going to be excited by it. Now, these people, these people, um, interestingly, you know, um, the Pharisees and the Sadducees or whatever, somebody says the Pharisee people and the Sadducee people, you know, they called the blind man and uh, they were attacking Jesus, they were attacking his personality, they were attacking his, 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 the source of his power, and they were saying, this guy is demonic, this guy is this, and all that. So it was, and, and Jesus was not there to defend himself, or Jesus was not there to prove to them that he did it the right way, and he didn't do anything wrong. And it was left, the, the court was not in the hands of Jesus, but the accusation in the court was between uh, the blind man um, uh, and, the, and, the, and the leaders, of the, the spiritual leaders of, in those days, that is the people who thought they know a lot and the people who thought that everything good must come through them. And, and the Bible said, they, 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 they asked the blind man, what happened to you? And then he said, well, I was this thing and this man healed me. And, and then uh, I was here, that's all. Now, the Bible said, the, the, the Pharisees and the began to then begin to teach him and said, no, he cannot do this thing by uh, the power of, of God, he, he, the way he's doing it, it is the power of Beelzebub, he's doing it by the power of, of, of demons, and all those things. And they kept running the reputation of Jesus down in the presence of this blind man, you know. And, and they're telling him, surely, he's not a good man. And then they began to extol the vices of, of Jesus. And they were painting the, a very dark picture of, of Jesus to the blind man. All they wanted was for the blind man to agree and say, now this man is a bad man, and the miracle that he did, and all these things, and all they wanted was for the blind man to agree. And here comes the principle. Here comes the blind man's wisdom. He said, you know what? I've never met the man before. I do not know the man. But all I knew was once I was blind, but now I can see. Then he moved on to stage two. He said, your holy writ, the book you people preach, and all the things that you teach us in the synagogue, says no one can work these things unless he be of God. So number one, once I was blind, but now I see. I have proof of his goodness. I have proof of his mercy. I have proof of how he stepped out of his comfort zone and reached into my zone of discomfort and pulled me out of that Mary clay and then established me upon a solid rock. Once I was blind, but now I can see. So what you are telling me to run down this thing, to join the cacophony of false accusation against this man or to uh, get me to testify in a kangaroo court against this man, I ain't going to be part of it. Why? Because I know he's a good man. He has done something good for me. He may be a bad man to everybody else, but he has done something for me. So the blind man said, listen, all I care about once I was blind, but now I see. So he rose up to the defense, and not just to the defense of Jesus, he rose up to the praise of Jesus. 
We have a, uh, a saying, an adage in, in my local language. That means, if you won't praise me, don't spoil me. What the blind man was saying, this man has done something for me. I'm not going to join the people who are putting him down. I remember that he has done something for me. You know, in life, people will give you a cup of water. People will do something for you. They are not robbing it in, and they are not expecting you to listen. But wherever you sit, and they begin to say things about them, or they begin to point fingers, your pastor, or whoever, you know, that has been good to you before, don't join that cacophony of accusation. Don't join that courtyard of accusation and all the things. Don't join it. Because remember that that person has done something good in your life. If you can't acknowledge what that man has done, if you can't accept or tell people that he's a good man or she's a good woman or this and that, if you can't do it, I don't think it would be good for you to run them down and begin to talk negative and begin to discredit them and begin to say things about them. That is not right. We don't do that. If you can't praise them, don't destroy them. So you see, blind man has wisdom. And he expects all of us to learn. I was once blind, but now I can see. So your bad man, in my life, in that particular portion of my life, not the entirety of my life, but in a particular junction of my life, in a particular place in my life, in, in a particular place of difficulty for me, in a particular moment, in a particular situation, in a particular circumstances of adversity, he stood up for me. He's been there for me. And as a result of that, I won't join your accusation band. I won't join this, this, this band of acrimony. I won't join this band. I acknowledge that this man is a good man. And I'm not only going to sit down and let you run down his listener. I'm going, to, I'm going to go for his defense. And to, for your information, I'm going to praise him. Listen, if you can't praise them, and if you can't speak well of them, to praise means to speak well of somebody. If you can't, don't join the chorus that destroys them. It's not a blessing. I can tell you that. Learn from the blind man's wisdom. See you later.